Hello and welcome to today's EMBN show. We're in Finale Ligure and we've got two very interesting and different pivot shuttles to look at. First of all, uh, apologies for the bedraggled look today. I've literally just come off the hill. We've been riding some incredible tracks such as the famous Kill Bill, Madonna, De La Guardia. Um, we're here at Evolve Bike Shop. Uh, thanks to Stefano and the crew for hosting us. Uh, some fantastic bikes here. Quite interesting that uh, these guys have got both mountain bikes and e-mountain bikes out for hire. So if you're looking for maybe a holiday where you don't want to take your e-mountain bike, Come and check these guys out. I mean, there's also lots of other shops in town as well, different brands. Um, but these guys have got the pivot shuttles here. So I think, I remember, I think it's 90 euros a day. And the same for the, for the pivot firebird, which is the analog style of bike. The shuttle services, we use these guys at Evolve. Remember, if you want to pedal to the top of a place such as this, it's going to take you about an hour and a half. But there's so much more than shuttling in Finale. There is huge uh, area of mountains to explore. There's climbing, there's descending, there's single track. And of course, there's time for food and relaxing on the beach. We're here in January, it's been 16 degrees and the sun has been shining with blue sky. Let's now go and have a look at these two shuttles. Right, well, here they are then folks, a brace of shuttles now. I seem to remember that the Pivot Shuttle was actually one of the first EMTBs to support the Shimano E8000 motor back in, crikey, I think it was 2016, 2017. Uh, Chris Kokalis and his team out in the US have done an amazing job with these bikes and they actually launched the Pivot Shuttle AM last year. So what we have here is the Shuttle LT, which is 160 mil travel rear, 170 mil up front, and the Pivot uh, Shuttle AM, which is 148 mil travel rear and 160 up front. The key difference is the Shuttle AM has actually got the Bosch CX, Performance Line CX motor on there. Um, this is the second one in the line. I think this bike is 12199. You can also have this bike with the CX Race Limited Edition motor, which is slightly more expensive. Remember the difference with the CX Race Limited Edition motor, it gives you a bit more, more it, gives you, well, it gives you all the power in a shorter space of time than it does on the CX motor. Uh, smart system on this bike, 750 watt hour battery. I think the front of house on this bike is very clean. So you've got the mini remote and the top tube display. Moving on to the Shuttle LT, as I said, there's a little bit more travel on this bike, 160, 170, full on Enduro machine. Um, Main difference in this bike, obviously, is the fact that it's got the Shimano EP8 motor on there. Although I do hear this can be upgraded to the EP801 in the, in the future, which obviously has got the uh, auto shift and free shift technology on it. If you haven't seen the video which we've done on that uh, Shimano auto shift, free shift, have a look, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, on this bike, interesting, I mean, it's great to have a Shimano motor with a big range, a 750 watt hour battery on this bike as well as the AM. In terms of the geometry numbers, uh, reasonably similar, but some, some quite uh, significant details which I want to tap into here. Um, 439 mil chainstay on the LT bike, 444 chainstay on the AM, which is going to give this bike a little bit more space in the back, which is going to enable it to climb possibly a little bit better. Obviously, with the Bosch motor, especially with the CX race motor in there, it's going to be pretty punchy on the climbs. Um, Bottom bracket, uh, 357 on the LT. They've lowered it a touch on this bike. They've gone down to 350, which means they'll also potentially corner that little bit faster. Um, reach numbers, we've got 491 reach on the LT. We've got 480 mil reach on the AM. That's in size large. Uh, wheelbase, around about 1280 on the LT, 1260 on the AM. And uh, C-tube angle, 77 for both bikes. So there's potentially, or in theory at least, is gonna be a good centralized uh, riding position on both these bikes. A few component details on the two bikes. Uh, Shimano XT braking on the AM, XTR on this particular model 
um, LT. Uh, 200 mm rotors, obviously. Uh, Shimano XTR uh, gearing on the LT bike. And this AM has actually got the uh, SRAM transmission uh, gearing on this bike. Some prices for you. Now, this bike retails at uh, $12,499, but there is another version at $9,699. These are Italian prices, remember, in euros. But there is a top-end bike, which is Pro Exo Eagle, at $14,699. Uh, this LT version, on the other hand, we got this one, as I mentioned, 12,499, but there's another bike for 10,299. Uh, uh, lastly, tires. I've been riding these, these um, Schwalbe tires up on the hill. It's actually amazing how little pressure you can run in some of the modern day tires. I remember those days previously, we'd be running like, you know, 26, 28 PSI. I've been riding these tires at around about 20 and still getting good puncture resistance. Oh, one last thing, 36 fork on the AM and the 38 on the LT. I think I'm sure you agree, uh, two incredibly good looking bikes and uh, definitely two I'd like to get out on the hill. Evolve also do some guiding, although there is actually an up-to-date uh, Finale Outdoor Region map where you can find your own way around. This is the fifth edition, and remember, on this map is now some uh, specific uphill trails, which is very cool in this region. Uh, one other thing, For You card. Use the For You card in restaurants and shops and uh, uplift services or hire or fixing and that will give you points which will enable you to some some gifts and some prizes but also part of that will go to the trail billing we were out on the trails here today and there was a team of people who were actually leaf blowing the tracks i mean i think it's quite interesting that the trails here do seem to be very sustainable because they're built on a lot of rock and rock outcrop very good for, for e-bike riding as well. So um, it's great to uh, put something back into trail if you use that for you card. Um, that's it folks. I'm gonna now uh, jump in the van and head back to the UK. Boom, and here we are back in the UK, uh, joined by Anna today. Anna Finale, what a great place to ride mountain bikes. I know, and the fact that it's nice and warm in the winter is always a delight, isn't it? Cold in the evenings, warm in the day. Fantastic thing about riding there this time of year is there's no dappled light, the trees, there's no leaves on the trees. So mm. you've got all things such as, you know, a roller coaster and uh, Madonna de la Guardia that you, you can see the beads going down to the right. trees. It's so cool. Yeah, it opens up the views more as it's well. It's honestly it? such I a great. About it like that. Yeah. Um, what was really interesting when I was out there was the fact that a lot of higher places are now 50%. Uh, renting e-bikes and 50% around right, the man bikes. Interesting. I thought it was, yeah, because, I mean, it's a huge, I mean, it is a mecca for the uplift, right? Mm. I mean, I think there's probably about 30 different uplift vehicles there. Yeah. But I think things are changing. Yeah, well, me and GMBM were there last October for a shoot, and there were so many e-bikers on the road, probably as many on the road as there were in an uplift. Quite yeah. interesting. What? The th things are changing in another way is the fact that there's lots of uh, single track uphill climbs there now. Oh. So obviously, mountain biking is a motorized sport, folks. Let's let's not be let's not be around the bush here, right? <laughs> it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly in Finale, you need to get out of the valley you up do. a motorway. So if they can do a nice tech climb out the valley, that'd exactly. be primo. But how are you getting on with your? White, oh, you, I love you it. light. Yeah, it's very light for an e-bike. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's definitely very traily, but you know, that just points out that there's no one e-bike is the same and it's not, they're all fit for purpose, aren't they? Exactly, they're built for the task in hand, right? Mm. Not everyone um, needs a 16 grand pro build pivot. <laughs> and not everyone needs a light, you know, e light, like, yeah. but I quite like it. So, uh, do you know what, what I did while I was out there? I mean, I've spent, you know, I've been in Finale quite a long time. I rode a 15, 15 kilo pivot Firebird. Like, enduro bikes, they're kind of pushing 15, 16 kilos now, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, easy. And it, you're, you know, that's quite light, I would say, but yeah, yeah. Would you say it's light? Yeah, yeah. Some of Rich, because uh, mine are quite light because I'm small, but yeah. some of Rich's bikes are pushing on 18, 19 what kilos is, what for his an like, enduro bike, what is which is a white e light. Is MTB enduro? Yes. Wow, crikey. Why is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> things 
are getting a bit beefed up. But interestingly, we were kind of having this conversation on the tech show, plug for GMBN Tech there. Um, but we on. were saying, are e enduro bikes getting beefed up because people are riding gnarlier stuff? Or is the industry trying to hide <laughs> the EMTV chunky monkeys? Yeah, and making them look more normal. Uh, nice. it, do you know what, it's funny because you've ridden Madame D Madonna de la Guardia, right? Yeah. It's a very difficult trail. Um, you, you know the fatigue levels you get on it. Do you know what I found it interesting is that when I was riding an MTB, because my centre of mass was higher than on the M on than on the EMTB, I had to squat in just in a slightly different position, and that put huge stress mm. on my quads in a different area. And I found I got tired a lot quicker. Mm. Anyway, just just uh, points. Um, time now for cool places. Speaking of finale, but speaking of cool places, it's your cool places. So we got a first one here from Antonio in Portugal, uh, who's yeah riding the Estrella e-bike in well Sarah de Estrella. So there's the link. That's cool, isn't it? Wow, I think that is almost looks like Scotland, but obviously a lot more heat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks like Scotland. Uh, and then the next one's from Simon Dartmoor in Devon, looking very Englishy there. Have That's you, the south of England. Have you ever been riding on Dartmoor? I have indeed. I did a bikepacking trip from the south oh, to the north. That's a great trip. Went through trip. both of the national parks. That's a great it trip. Is, yeah. I think Dartmoor is like uh, unfinished business for me. I think. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. I like I like the little pubs on there. I like the kind of. It's I like wild, the, isn't it? I like the vibe of it. It's really. Cool it was place. the last place in England you could legally camp out and not be turfed off. But now a load of rich people have bought it and they've said no point packing anymore. I thought it was so owned by go. the military a lot of it. No, not anymore. Uh, anyway, further north, like you said, Exmoor, Gary's Cube oh, yeah. Hybrid. I think Exmoor, another un undiscovered paradise for e-mountain biking. And mm -hmm. then uh, Jared Marilla Alpine Trail in Angel Sea, Victoria, Australia, just off the ocean road. Lovely, very oceany. And then finally, uh, Stephen Sierra Crevelente in Alicante, adding, um, Kilometers on. Adding kilometers to his first EMTB ride. Not had a bike for 40 years and he's jumped up back in on electric. Wow. There you go. Good stuff. I was just trying to convince my dentist to get an e-bike. <laughs> but she said it was too they're too heavy. It's a dentist, does that mean he needs a Yeti e-bike? Ooh. <laughs> uh, and a new section on the show. We've what? got Owen doing some one-minute uh, tech how-tos. Lay it on me, let's see it. Cool, a one minute wonder on what stuff that you need to take on the trail. Starting from now, a pack to put stuff in. One with a bladder is useful, this one's a cool hip pass. You will need a heat inner tube because sometimes flats happen. Inflate those flats with an inflator. CO2 is very good. Always pack a mini pump too. Helping fix those flats, the worms. These are really good to insert in the tires. Tires, tire levers. These are big and burly, will help with e-bike tires because they're stiffer. Spare valve, useful, not essential, but very useful. Essential, multi-tool, key with all the right bits that you need on. So if you've got a T25 for adjusting brake levers, make sure your tool's got one. Other thing that you will need is a chain tool. Make sure it's compatible with your 12-speed or 11-speed chain. Pack some quick links as well. Finally, hopefully we're under a minute, this is a rear mech hanger. These are replaceable, they're a kind of like brake item. So if you hit something, it will break versus breaking your frame or breaking your mech. So pack one so you've got all the essentials that you need. A uh, little bit of behind the scenes, Anna. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, you almost saw some behind the scenes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Behind the I'm scenes. I'm ready now. <laughs> now, uh, our colleague Louis, you might have seen uh, Louis and me do some videos together previously. Um, I think the last one was called Heavier Weight versus Lightweight. We've got a heavier, heavyweight versus lightweight video coming soon with me and Anna. Yeah, which can is, I keep up? Yeah. Being light and light. Actually, in the next few weeks. Um, this is a bit of a behind the scenes because Louis thought he could get up this rocky climb. Louis is like 60 kilos. He was convinced he'd get up this rocky climb on his, on his MTB. I said, Louis, you're going you're gonna to get across. This is what happened. Okay, we've got a behind the scenes mountain bike challenge here in Finale, uh, heading to the top of a roller coaster. We've got Louis, who's around uh, about 60 kilos, although he's been eating lots of specialist chocolate cakes recently. 
EMBN behind the scenes. I've never seen him ride that slowly. Oh, that's pretty good. That's good. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. Uh, um, if I was you, I'd, I'd just stick to E Mountain Bike and Louis. Uh, was that a bit of a huff and a puff there? Forks are way too big. Forks are too big. Okay, yeah. Right. Tire pressure too hard? Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's Bike Vault time where we look at your bikes. And you've missed a trick here, Steve. Why didn't you call it Bike Vault? Like V O L T? Uh, uh. Whoa, that's anyway. a very no, that's a good point. Why the <laughs> heck did I? Why haven't we done that? Maybe it's confusing. I don't know. Stick with it. Anyway, John no, sent great. John sent us in a Nink Proof Megawatt here. Um, yeah, in Cumbria, looking nice. What are you saying? I'm do, saying we, do we ring a bell or anything I'm saying, around it? What do we do I'm with saying this bike one? Bike is a great, we great just, subject. Uh, do we just say we like you it? You can or not? do whatever you want. What Joey, what would you like to do? There's a horn. You'd like to give There's it the horn. horn. We You'd have like to, do to give it the horn. Okay, you give it the horn. What are you saying? Do we horn that or not? <laughs> oh, horn. Jeez. Oh, look at the little puppy. Look at the little puppy. <laughs> Jason, high bike, We're sheer water, on. long, bent and stable wheelchair. Uh, what bike is that? What uh, bike is that? What a bike high is that? bike, all mountain. Oh, I love the little puppy. That's all right. Have you got a dog? No. Have you got a dog, Jay? No. Nobody's got a dog. I'd we'll like a dog. Give this for the trail dog. Uh, and next up, a show shot, a snow show shot, shot. Valtteri Canyon Drive on Tampere, Finland. I think that's very, very nice shot and a very nice, an amazing bike. <laughs> oh, uh, braced myself and it was a long time. Bloody hell, look at that. Oh, that's moody, isn't Joey, it? Joey, that's a nice Exmoor. shot. Exmoor. Joey, are you concentrating, Joey? Oh. There's, that is... But that looks uh, like the Forest of Dean, not Gary, Exmoor. Gary, that is one of the nicest shots I've ever mm. seen in the bike vault. That is... But we don't care about the shots, we care about the cube stereo no, hybrid no, 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 no. that you, is well, in well, the you shot. Might, well, you might do on GMBN oh. Tech and GMBN, but I think oh, it's, I about, it's about the whole thing. I can, I'm confused by this section. <laughs> you shouldn't be confused, Anna. <laughs> All right, shall I mean, we... Why are you Were you horning this? Are you horning the I cube in the shot? I can horn whatever you want. What's, there you go, what, go on then, horn it. Go on then, hold it so we no, can why go No, why are you confused about the bike vault? Because it's bike vaults, isn't it? About the, we've already had cool places. You, hold on, you should have submitted on. this to you cool places. You tried to places. change the title of the show a minute ago, and now you're now you saying you don't know what it's all about. <laughs> I thought this was about to the bikes. To horn or not to oh, horn? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sounds Excellent. like I'm what? I've had too much coffee? <laughs> Sounds like you horn everything. He horns everything. We we know this, Jerry. Joey, you know you say stuff like that. Uh, next one in from Chris in Northampton Bike Park. Uh, but know, don't but... care about the place, Steve. We care about the high bike enduro free ride. Anna, Anna's being challenging on the bike vault. <laughs> it's not, it's more, It's about everything. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Well, he picked no, it up actually, Friday. No, 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 He's no, ridden it, it on it's, it's Sunday. A, it's about the Are mood. we horning this? It's about the mood now, uh, is it? It's about, Can it's, someone write in the oh, comments what this oh, section's about, about so I mood. know? It's about, it's about the, the mood, mood the and the place and the bike. Are we horning this one? Are you in a rush to get somewhere? <laughs> yeah, so I am actually. <laughs> hmm, let me think. I'm horning this one. End of bike vault. Well, lovely. If you want to send more in, upload us in the link below. <laughs> Okay, it's time to get social, Steve. Oh, what we got? What we got? We're going to surprise Darryl you. Daryl Brown. I mean, Daryl ah. Brown is one hell of a rider. And Heck of a he's rider. He's driving one hell of a car. Did you know, it's Anna? Joey's car. The man behind the camera used to have used one to. of those cars. Oh, but he Joey, found it what'd you do ve to it? Very impractical thing to have with an e-bike. It is very impractical. I'll tell yeah. you what, I've spun one of those around a roundabout. And Did you? Yeah, those things are a little bit hey. light on the yeah. back end. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, Daryl, speaking of sideways action, Daryl Brown slivering around some truly British trails, uh, doing a good job as well. Um, and then Dan, Dan tagged us in this video of him on Instagram. Another bit of evidence suggests that EMTB are pre nimble. Uh, and then Oof. we spotted it's a Anna. Big send. We spotted oh. Anna. What have I done this time? We spotted Anna. Oh yeah, I was putting my pedals on. Oh yes. Putting my new fun pedals Do you know together. What? I found, Shout out to a new sponsor. I found putting pedals and pins very 
it's, it's calming. Yeah, yeah. Not calming in the car park in minus four wind with Joey hassling you for a coffee. <laughs> it's usually you that's hassling for a coffee. Oh. I blame him. Um, <laughs> Anna looks very cosy there. Yeah, yeah. Who's the guitar? That's mine. Nice. Yeah, I can't play it, but it's just there. Uh, uh, let me just come out of the show two seconds and see what's on the channel this week. Uh, 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 uh. And that's it for this week's show. Uh, please let us know your thoughts about the Pivot Shuttle AM and LT. Which one would you choose? Uh, would you like to go for a holiday in finale? Uh, and don't forget to watch the video on Sunday. It's yeah. us. It's us. Yes. It's us. Finally. E Light versus E160. Full power versus mid-power. See you then.